Mayor Buddy Dyer launched Greenworks Orlando in 2007 to transform Orlando into one of the most environmentally friendly, economically, and socially vibrant communities in the nation. To control high energy costs and the adverse effects on public health and the environment, the City of Orlando is undergoing energy efficiency upgrades to 56 municipal facilities. That includes lighting upgrades, HVAC renovations, building automation controls, and other cost-effective energy conservation measures. The City of Orlando spends more than $14 million on energy costs each year. In addition, more than 70% of Orlando's citywide greenhouse gas emissions comes from buildings using dirty energy. But how do we fix this problem? Well, you can't figure out where to go if you don't know where you are. First, you have to have an understanding of how your buildings are performing with respect to how the national average is performing. Are your buildings better than national average? Are they worse? The City of Orlando uses EPA's Energy Star Portfolio Manager as a basis for our energy benchmarking. This provides a miles per gallon for our buildings and compares them to others of similar age, size, and use type. And we also perform in-house calculations that extract from the Energy Star Portfolio Manager, allowing us to delve significantly deeper into the specific elements that we want to try to target for energy saving opportunities. In 2010, the City received funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to improve our municipal buildings. Through energy benchmarking, we identified 24 of the most energy-intensive buildings to invest in, which included fire stations, community centers, public administration buildings, and more. One of the most significant upgrades that the City of Orlando has made to our energy management program has been installing intelligent building controls. Through this program, we can monitor all temperatures, humidities, and CO2 levels in each of our buildings, as well as the current state of our air conditioning and lighting equipment. This allows us to respond to equipment failures in real time, catching events as they occur. This significantly enhances our response times and makes buildings more comfortable. The City of Orlando is in the process of phasing out almost all of the fluorescent and high-pressure sodium old technology lamps with high-efficient LED lighting. There are many benefits to LEDs, including better light quality that lasts nearly 10 times as long and significant reductions to the power bills. In the offices where we have installed LEDs, the lighting quality has helped reduce eye strain and improve occupant comfort while also reducing the energy used for lighting by 75% with an average return on investment of less than five years. In 2013, the City of Orlando partnered with OUC to develop a 420 kilowatt solar array on top of our Fleet and Facilities Building, as well as an additional 12 kilowatt solar array at the city's iconic park, Lake Eola. This revolutionary technology has helped us to meet some of our power demands with clean, renewable electricity from the sun, while also helping to reach our sustainability and efficiency goals. Overall, the investments made in the City of Orlando's buildings have reduced more than 30% of energy use compared to 2010 levels and avoided nearly $1.1 million in energy costs, saving taxpayer money and improving our operations. The direct savings from these investments are recaptured in the Revolving Energy Fund, that can be appropriated to other efficiency projects in the future. These savings are a small example of how the City of Orlando is leading by example in doing our part to enhance the quality of life for our residents, drive economic savings, and reduce our impact on the environment. <laughs>